This week, we're in Annapolis. It's a former stopover in the race, and arguably America's sailing capital. It's also the home of far yacht design. And the other week, we had a team down there speaking to Pat Shaughnessy about the Volvo Ocean 65 build process. Uh, well, they, in order to produce eight to 10 boats for the race, obviously the, the build itself needed to be broken into several components so that it could be delivered on that sort of time scale. So we have the, the hulls and some of the early internal structure being built at Persico in Italy. We have the decks fully finished with their hardware being built at Multiplast in France. And we have the remaining internal structure components coming from Decision in Switzerland. And all those components are arriving at Green Marine for assembly, um, sea trialing and launching. So um, there's an enormous amount of coordination that occurs between that and an enormous amount of input coming from the various teams. So as designers, you try to work within the um, comfort level of each of the builders and try to help them coordinate the process and most of all ensure that it's a one design. So when these components arrive, they've all come with their checks and controls and when they go together, we have a, a really um, well-conceived product that's assembled together into the world's best one design. So it's a, it's a great process. I'm inside the deck mold of Group Armor. Now they're the winners of the last edition of the Volvo Ocean Race. This is the whole mold and it was built here at Multiplast in France. But this time around for the One Design 65, the whole mold is going to be built at Persico in Italy. And a few days ago we were down there to see the whole process. It's pretty interesting and I even got to get my hands a little bit dirty. So anytime you build something really big, for, for example, a one design 65 foot bow that has to race the whole way around the world. There's a lot of work to do. But in amongst all of that work, there's some key days that stand out. And we're back at Persico in Bergamo, Italy, and, and we're here for the mold infusion, which is the next stage. It's quite a complicated process to get your head around. Hopefully we're gonna be able to show you the whole process and explain it. Ben, what's, what's going on here? Uh, we've got uh, the barrel here, it's full of uh, resin um, and all these different taps are going to different areas on the boat where obviously we've got a vacuum and over these places we're going to pull the resin through. So it's quite a, a, a critical moment. Everybody was feeling the, the tension from one side, maybe more me feeling the tension. By this point, I was starting to get a bit confused. So I decided to try a different strategy to explain the process. So what we have here is my representation of the One Design 65 football. Obviously, it's a bit rough. So then what happens is we, we cover it in this carbon fiber here. You, you can sheet in. This is what they call biaxial. This, this is a, a first smoother layer that's going to go on there. And then we're going to go layer after layer. And then this last piece is, is pretty important. This is what they call the flow media. Th this green stuff has a sort of a thickness to it, and that allows them to create a vacuum underneath the bag, but it's also the medium that'll be used to make the resin flow into the mold. So, and then the next thing that's gonna come over is the bag. And you see the bag come over like this. And the, bag, the bag's stuck along the edges like this with, um, with, with double-sided, very, very thick and strong double-sided tip. And this, and this bag's much, much stronger than it looks. So, so now I'm standing at the, at the stern of the boat, the back of the boat, looking, looking, looking forward. Obviously, the thing's upside down. And I can, I can see the shape of the boat. I can see the resin moving down towards me very, very slowly. OK, so I'm just finishing up the the bag here, it's very important to make sure that this bag is a really, really good seal so that no air can get in because we're going to suck this down and create a vacuum. Obviously to create a vacuum we have to suck the air out, so I'm using this fitting here, make a little tiny, put, put one, this, this side of the fitting goes in the bag there, this, this, this bit lives on the outside, and then this bit will just screw down under that through the hole and the air will get sucked out through the hole, so that, that, screw that down like that. And then put this on here like that. And that's what we'll use to, 
to suck the air out. You see the bag starting to suck down. So as you can see, we're, we're, the, the bag's working pretty well. well. But obviously the, the most important step that I left out on this one was, was mold infusion because now that we've made a vacuum on here we have to get the resin in there somehow and that's what we've been doing next door. So I've actually got one of the fittings here that we use that we use to send the resin in uh, and I'm going to fit this to the bag although I'm not going to send any resin in obviously because you know we don't want to make a heat any we don't want to make any more of a mess than we've already made this morning. So what we'll do we'll just make a tiny nick in the, in the thing here. And I'm gonna put, put, put that on, on top of the nick like that. Push that down. That should stay like that. Then I'm gonna start the compressor again. This bag, I have to admit, is not the best. When, when this is done by, by a professional boat builder, you wouldn't hear any of that leaking air. You wouldn't hearing the air leaking in everywhere so it's a little bit of a problem but obviously this is not for real and, and the pros would do it much better than I ever could but you get the idea as you can imagine I enjoyed that and the next stop is France's sailing valley where we'll be checking out the deck mold at Multiplast Well this looks pretty familiar to me. This is a piece of uh, biaxial carbon fiber. It, it's similar to the stuff we were using at Persico, but the, the big difference is, is that the resin is already in this one, whereas you may remember at Persico the, the, the carbon fiber is dry and we were forcing the resin into it. So the guys here at uh, Multiplast, they're just laying big sheets of this all over the deck mold and then they'll, they'll put a vacuum bag on it uh, and turn up the heat and uh, we should have a very, very solid uh, deck mold. Okay, I think we're done. Well, for now that is. It's been a really, really busy couple of days. I hope we've been able to explain some uh, pretty complicated processes to you. I know I've really, really managed to learn a lot. Uh, it's time to head back to Alicante, but before I do, I think I'm just gonna go and check out this monster.